we're ready. They're ready to start counting, Baltimore County elections officials say, poised to certify primary results tomorrow morning. Numbers which include Johnny Oleski's squeaker of a win in the Democratic County Executive Contest, just nine votes up on State Senator Jim Brochin, who tells 11 News, of course he'll petition for a recount. Human error happens, and uh, we need to make sure that uh, every vote uh, is recounted and double checked, and then we'll move on one way or the other. Oleski, not the official nominee yet, though certainly campaigning like he is, and of the pending recount, tells 11 News he's okay with that. We've consistently been supportive of the idea that every vote should be counted and every voice heard. Uh, that being said, and we're very confident that the work that they've done will, will, be, uh, will, will hold. And for both camps, nothing changed today after learning that a routine election audit found 93 overvotes. Those are ballots with more than one pick, negated by the scanner, scrutinized by auditors, and ultimately giving Oleski a net gain of five votes. But those five not added to the current tally. It's a backup. It's a double check on our, on our results. It doesn't make it doesn't change the results, but it's it's a good way. For, it's a measuring stick to make sure that hey, we're um, we have an accurate read on the votes. Because the margin between the top two candidates is less than 0.1 percent, the candidate who ultimately requests the recount will not have to pay for it, and the candidate who is ultimately deemed the official Democratic nominee will face the Republican nominee in November. That's Insurance Commissioner Al Redmer. In Hunt Valley, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. And Al Redmer Jr. weighed in on the likely recount for the Democratic nomination. He said he's thankful he's not in that position, but says it serves as a reminder that every vote counts, and that message is what's driving his campaign leading up to Election Day. We are going to go into every community. We are going to uh, search for every vote. Uh, and we're going to work extremely hard to make sure that we get as many folks out as possible on November the 6th. And Redmer is hosting a campaign event right now. This